Hey, what's up? Hello, my name is Emma, and today I am here with Michael Book Lion. I knew you were doing it that time because you would hit me. <laughs> and today we are back at the Strand Bookstore. You can't keep doing this. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> today we are here at the Strand Bookstore in New York City, and we are going to be doing a new book haul challenge thing. That's exactly the title of this video, so you knew that. <laughs> book haul challenge thing. So a few months ago, there were some YouTubers doing like shopping challenges in a certain time frame, whether it was makeup or clothes. So today, Michael and I are going to have three minutes to buy some books for each other. This is gonna be very stressful because not only is it a very short period of time to explore an entire bookstore, but also we have to figure out what books the other person would want. Emma has been hounding me to tell her for two weeks now, but I didn't. I kept it locked down because that's the challenge and... I like to be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> the whole point is not being prepared. So this is gonna go swell. Probably gonna be a disaster, but I hope you guys enjoy. That's my life. <laughs> And we are off. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Two minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, don't knock anyone down. Or do. It'll make the video more entertaining. Um, I actually don't know if you have I do, but I can't sit. You know if you have Yeah, I know if I have the book. I'm not gonna tell you. And I did want this one. Oh my god, you're doing this so fast. Can you stop? No, but I don't know what I'm Okay, well you have a full two minutes and twenty seconds. I know that's why I'm like I'm glad I got two books because now I can like take a hot second. But I also like I don't know if you have the shiver series by Magnus Seabar. Okay, I'll take it. Um Oh, no, we're in middle grade. I feel like you don't read a lot of middle grade. Um, I think you have that. I don't think you're interested in any of the middle grades over here, but there's so many people in the fantasy aisle. You're going to have to go for it. It's a reason this is called the thingy challenge. What did you call it? No Book haul thingy challenge. Do I want to get you anything over here? Do you? Um, uh, Genuine Fraud is such an interesting book, but I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> you... Have I'm kind of insulted your phone didn't unlock to my face, but it's fine. A minute and 30 seconds. Uh, how much time? A minute 30. A minute and 30 seconds. There's people in the other aisle and I don't want to go. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, we're, we're braving you. You're going for it. Sorry. <laughs> I read all of these and I read them back to back. And I You're getting on the elevator? <laughs> the, like those elevator? are stairs. They don't know Can I just get past you really quick? Sorry. I think I just feel. Thank you. I feel like I can't carry all these at once. You have 40 seconds left. 40 seconds? Is there anything else I want to look at? Oh, I have so many books. I'm only gonna pick three of them, and I just don't know what else you'd want. Um, yeah. Oh, I should get you Hocus Pocus. That's what I should get you. Ooh. <laughs> um, I don't know if you'd like that one. And you're at 20 seconds. Oh, I thought you were about to tell me that I'm out of time. I'm like, what? There's no way I'm that much out of time. Sorry. Um. And you're out of time. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm satisfied with my choices. So I finished book shopping. It was really stressful. I'm confident in maybe one or two of my choices, but not in any of the others. The one book I'm sure I'm gonna get Michael is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson because Kat from Katie Tastic really loved this book. I know Reagan from Proust Project also loved it. Everyone has been raving about it and Michael does like sci-fi, so I think this will actually be a really good choice for him. I could see him picking this up really soon. Mind your way. Sorry. No, go for it. For a book. Go for it. I didn't wanna. 
I was like, oh, I almost just stepped over it. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll it to do whatever you do. The next book I picked up is Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. Since I know that Michael loves Maggie Stiefvater's books, he's a huge fan of The Raven Cycle. The only thing is, I'm not sure if he has number one read it or number two owns it. I don't believe he has it on his bookshelf currently, but he might have it back home in New Jersey. So not sure about this one yet. The other one I'm not totally sure about is Autobiography by Christina Lauren, because I know a lot of people have loved this book. It's a contemporary that I think Michael would really like, but again, not sure if he owns it. Then I got Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer, which you guys know is a favorite of mine. I know that Michael read Renegades, um, and I think that he would be willing to read the sequel. He didn't like love Renegades, but I think he'd be willing to give it a chance. Um, I can sometimes convince him to read books that I really love, so I think he might pick up Arch Enemies if I were to get it for him. And then the last book I picked up is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan. Um, I've heard that this is like a really amazing fantasy novel with like a lesbian relationship um michael loves fantasy and he reads a lot of lgbt books so i think this would also be a really good choice for him so i think i'm set on both skyward and girls of paper and fire but now i just have to figure out what is my choice between these three <laughs> and we we're gonna do our little book exchange. I'm going to be showing Michael the books that I bought him. I am so insecure about my choices. I think you're gonna hate all of them, but I hope, I hope you'll be excited. That's how I feel about myself as a person. <laughs> we did promise each other to be like completely candid and honest, like not like, oh, thanks. So oh, like you're gonna, <laughs> thanks. Hey. I happen to be a very, very expressive person, I've been told. So even if I'm trying to fake it, you guys might I would totally be able know. to tell. So. <laughs> so the first book I got you is... I don't trust you. Girls of Paper and Fire by James Patterson Presents from <laughs> Natasha and Don. I hope I'm saying that right. I've said it like five times in this video. <laughs> I also got Emma this book. And this is what happens when you hear really good things about a book and it lists on the New York Times bestseller like for like eight weeks now. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna read it anytime soon, but since you have it, I think I might buddy read we it with totally you. We should totally buddy read it. And so, we both win. Really. Yeah, we do both win. Okay, next We one. have like an unintentional buddy read out yeah. of this. I don't think, like we didn't go in planning to get each other. There's only books, 18 but. miles of books. Of course we get the exact <laughs> same one for each other. So the next book I got you is... Ooh, Scott, you're feeling purple today, huh? It wasn't intentional. Bitches love purple. It's Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. This was recently the book Explosion book of the month, and you... they all really liked it. I don't know much about it besides it's like sci-fi alien creatures out of space girl, and people love Brandon Sanderson, mm -hmm. and people have been loving this. If I'm being honest, I don't know anything about Skyward either. <laughs> um, I just love know that, that it's. I know that it's science fiction, and I know that Cat loved it. Um, and and I love Cat. You do love Cat, and although I feel like I wouldn't consider sci-fi one of your like favorite genres ever, you do, you like have read some sci-fi. I love really me like, the Illuminae like, Files, yeah, exactly. so if it's anything like those, I will really like it. But honestly, yeah, I would I never have picked it up myself. Okay, well that that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not Maybe a bad thing. Maybe I don't do so terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Get the next one. <laughs> was that sarcastic? No, that sarcastic? no, yeah, no. Like, yeah. You get the next yeah. one. The notebook I got you is? I give you so many chances to hit me in the face with the book and close my eyes. It is Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Do you remember when you were with me when I bought this in hardcover? There's a follow-up. There's a follow-up. You were with me when I bought this in hardcover and we I bought a blanket so. at TJ Maxx and we wait, yeah. wait, it keeps going. The story keeps going, it takes a turn. And we bought a blanket at Cheesy Max. <laughs> Cheesy mess. Are you hungry? <laughs> and we bought a blanket at TJ Maxx and then put it out on the garden and laid out in, I think, in Central, Central Park. Park. Um, and I tried reading it to her, but we ended up just like laying and staring at the sky and taking cute selfies. Oh, yeah, that was nice And you had a stain on your shirt that I had to face tune out for the photo. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hadn't read it and I was interested in reading it, but um, I had a friend or a friend's friend came over and was interested in reading it. And so I gave it to them and then I never got it back. <laughs> And so it's actually like this weird full circle moment that you got <laughs> oh, it for me. That's so funny. I was really almost convinced that. I mean, you, you were had with it. me when I bought it. So. Uh, but I knew I had a feeling you'd be interested in it. 
But you don't remember being with now me. Now I remember. Father. Now I remember. So I, I will probably get to this at some point. Yeah, I do. I do remember you reading it, and I really liked the beginning of it. But I thought I have it too, so we could actually better read. Also, that. all three books that Emma <laughs> got me are purple. I wonder if she's feeling some type of way today. So how do you feel? I did. I feel like we spent too much money on each other. <laughs> that wasn't what I asked. Um, but I feel like I wouldn't have bought any of these for myself but I have reasons to read them. I know it was the point of the video, but it's still kind of touching that like you spend a lot of money on books for me. So. <laughs> of course. So if you want to check out my process of picking out books oh. for Michael and which ones I chose for him, go check out his video in the description below. That's no. <laughs> so if you want to pick out the... <laughs> So they're going book shopping for us now. So if you want to see the books that I got Emma, and you already know one of them, so why not find out the next two, go check out the video on my channel. Uh, why am I closing your video? <laughs> <laughs> you continue. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was super fun to film, but also super stressful. Um, let us know your thoughts on my choices in the comments below. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye. Bye.